All right. Got a nice match here for you at 63 kilos. You got Erin Claudio in the red singlet wrestling for the Sunkiss Kids. She's uh, been your World Team Trials runner up the past couple years to Pierskova at this weight class. Uh, Stacy Anaka of Canada is a world silver medalist in Budapest in 2013. She's in the blue singlet there. It's your bottom side semifinal at 63. Winner of this to face the winner of Agio and Graham that are actually wrestling right now on Matt B. No points there. We'll turn to the center. And uh, not 100% on this, but Anaka hasn't wrestled since earning that silver medal at the Worlds. This might be her first tournament back. And Claudio actually took a match from Elena Pierskova at the World Team Trials. She lost the series 2-1. to one. She's right there with the best in the world. One minute in, and we are scoreless still. I have a passivity warning here on Anaka. Outside single attempt from Claudio. Anaka stuffs it, keeping the head down, trying to circle right side. Now front quarter. Claudio tries to limp arm out of it. Anaka pounces. Close to the edge here. Claudio trying to drive in. But Anaka circles in. They return to the center. And uh, expect Anaka to get put on the shot clock here relatively soon. Being that she's the only one with the passivity call. So we're approaching that two minute mark. All right, Anaka now placed on the 30-second shot clock. 107 remains in the first. Shot clock's not actually running at the moment. Again, having trouble with the shot clock. Getting it worked out. Anaka working on the front headlock. Again, close to the edge. Claudio has elbow control at that right side. Now in on the single leg. Ten seconds remain on the shot clock. No points yet. Claudio looks like she's trying to elevate, come out the back door. Heavy hips from Anaka, but it's not going to be enough at this point. One point on the board for Aaron Claudio. She takes the early lead. Caution as well for Anaka, not scoring on the shot clock. Fifteen seconds left in the first. Underhook for Anaka, drives in, trying to work a snap, but that'll be it for the first period. Only points on the board via the shot clock. Aaron Claudio leads at 1-0 over Canada's Stacey Anaka. to the center of the mat now. Claudio shot right off the whistle. Anaka snaps down. Claudio trying to come back up and in. Claudio fighting wrists, reaching out with that right arm towards the single.
Snap down to Naka, trying to circle around. Well, it's close there for a second. Claudio able to keep that right arm up, prevent Anaka from completely circling around. Now Claudio trying to drive in. And still neither woman able to convert a takedown here. We're about four minutes into the match. Tough sledding on both sides. Now Naka in on the single leg. She cuts the corner. Claudio trying to circle around behind here. No exposure. Anaka staying strong from that position. And it looks like Claudio going to get two points there. Anaka must have exposed. But I think we're going to see a challenge here. We are going to see the Canada's corner thinking they had the takedown and no exposure on a dump from Claudio. We're going to take a look at this video review. Still waiting for a ruling to come through on this challenge. Now it looks like we have the video up on the board. Anaka, single leg, down to the mat. Don't see any exposure yet for Claudio. And that's where they blow the whistle, so. Yeah, I don't think that was any exposure. We're going to white paddle that. So it's still 1-0 Claudio. We're going to say no takedown, no tilt. Anaka still working in that front headlock. Claudio still charging forward. Again, single leg attempt from Claudio, close to the edge. That's gonna be one point going out of bounds for Claudio. She extends the lead to two. Anaka's still in the game here, takedown, ties things up. Single leg snatch there for Anaka. Claudio working on a crotch lift, now hip heist out, and she's around for the takedown and two. Claudio up 4-0 now, opening things up under a minute to go. Andy Miller and Veronica Carlson battling on Matt B right now. Nanaka in again on that high level single attack. Tries to sit it back. She's keeping her hips high, but Claudio showing some great flexibility here. Keeping her hips parallel to the mat. And a 
I think Claudio going to get another two there as time winds down. It's going to be a 6-0 final score in favor of Erin Claudio. She moves on to the finals. Don't know who she will face just yet. Take a look here. I think it's going to be Kayla Agio, but uh, 